Music alphabet is from A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in this case, this is E, A, D, G. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Adama, Bismatics. I want to welcome you to my new channel, Bismatics Online Bass and Music Lessons. So before we continue, if today is your first time visiting my channel, kindly subscribe. Click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell because a lot is going to be happening here. So guys, we're doing something really important today. How to understand keys on the bass guitar. You know, every string you see on the bass guitar, on their open, have a note value. And we're going to treat them right away. All right, let's go. So for every bass guitar, the strings have a note value. For example, this is a four string bass. This string stands for something. So in this case, this is E, A, D, G. So if you press those notes on your keyboard or any other instrument, it's the same thing. This is E. If you press E on your keyboard, you have it. A. Same thing with your keyboard, D, and then G. Now we're going to be dealing with whole tone, which is also called full tone or tone, and then semitone, also called half step or half tone. Now, from here to here, I told you they mean something. The note value changes as you move across the fretboard. So now, there is something called a tone movement and a half tone movement. A tone movement is any two step away from your current position. While a half step movement or a half tone or a semitone movement is a single movement away from where you are standing, either backward or forward. All right. So if you are here, and you move here, you have moved a semitone forward or semitone higher. So now if you are standing here and you move one step from where you are backward, it's still called a semitone movement or a half step movement. All right. But if you are standing here and you move, you count two string, uh, two fret forward, and you move from here to here, it's called a tone movement or a full tone movement or a whole tone movement, okay? It's any two step away from where you're standing. That is if you take one, two, that is a whole tone movement, all right? From here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here, on any string, that is the name called a whole tone movement, forward, or backward. All right, now, we all understand that these strings represent something and they mean something. Now, we, like what we explained, they are E, A, D, G, right? E, A, D, G. Now, on the open string, you have the E. So, if you move here, is that a tone movement or a semitone movement? I want you to answer it is a semitone movement. So between here, between the open and here, this is semitone, half step movement from there. So this is the E. Then you are here. A, then you are here. You can see that the sound is different. I believe you understand it now. Let me try moving tone movement all the way down. So if I do. So this is tone movement forward or higher. 
So I'm going to do another one. So this is called tone movement backward. All right. Now I'm going to be teaching the major scale, the diatonic scale. It involves seven different notes. But when you play it from octave to octave, it makes it eight. I do re mi fa sol la ti do. Now, okay, I'm on C. This is key C, and I'm going to explain why it is key C. All right, so. Now, from our explanation of half step or full step movement, there is the involvement of that on the diatonic scale, which is the major scale. Music alphabet is from A to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are music alphabets. But usually they start from C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. All right, and it's a circle. Music is about circles. There are variables in those circles. That is what brings about subconscious registration of sound. Then when it varies according to what you want to achieve, it makes it melodic, it gives it rhythm and what have you. We're going to deal with all those ones, but for the sake of this class, we'll do diatonic scale and note value on the bass. Now you need to understand the relationship between notes and between keys, understanding keys on the bass. There's a music element called sharp and flat, okay? But they do not apply to every key. Sharp goes forward while flat goes backward. There are keys that do not have sharp, there are keys that do not have flat. I want you to note this. Key C has a sharp. Key D has a sharp. So. Like I said, here is key C, right? So if you move semitone higher from C, is C sharp. After C sharp is D. So imagine the alphabet now. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. It's a circle, remember? When you get to G, you come back to A, B, then C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like that. Now. Before we go, I want you to note the keys that have sharps and the ones that do not have sharp. And the ones that have flat and the ones that do not have flat. Okay? C has sharp. D has sharp. E has flat. E doesn't have sharp. But E flat is the same as D sharp. Then, once you are done with E that does not have sharp, you get to F. F has sharp. When you are done with F sharp, you go to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You get to G. G has sharp. When you are done with G sharp, you get to A has sharp. And A sharp is before B. B does not have sharp. B has flat. So B flat is the same as A sharp. When you are done with B flat, you have B. When you are done with B, you move to what? C. Right? We started from C. So we are back to C. Note the two keys that do not have sharps, but have flats. B and E. And because they do not have sharp, they have flat. Now, since they have flat, the sharps that happen before them can be called the flat of them or the sharp of those ones. For example, the E that does not have sharp. There is D before E. So D sharp can be called E flat. Note it. And now A has sharp. And A sharp is before B. B does not have sharp. B has flat. So B flat can be referred to as A sharp. Do you understand now? So now from that understanding, and we know E 
A D G. Yeah, you can understand it with this. Eat apple daily, Gabriel. E A D G. Eat apple daily, Gabriel. Right. So, without understanding, if here is A, from A, you are moving to where? A sharp or B flat. Because A is close to B, B does not have sharp. So they can share that name, B flat or A sharp. So from A, you now move to B flat or A sharp. When you are done with that, you now move to B itself. Of course, you already know B does not have a sharp, so you automatically get your C. That's why you have a C here. All right. So without understanding, if I move here, you will know this is a C sharp. Now, if I move here, you will know it's a D, right? If I move here, you know it's a D sharp or what? A, B, C, D, E. E does not have sharp, it has flat. So you can either call it D sharp or E flat. Then when you are done with the flat, you now have the E itself. So from the E, you have what? Because E does not have a sharp, you now have F. After F, F has sharp. You have F sharp. After F sharp is what? G. Then after G, you have G sharp. After G sharp is what? A. After A is what? A sharp or what? B flat. Because B does not have A sharp and it's close to it. So after A sharp or B flat, you now have B. After B, you now have C. So this note now and this C that we started from is the same value. It's just the octave difference. This is C. This is C. E. to stop here for today and uh, if you enjoyed this lesson kindly subscribe drop a comment if you have a question ask your question there and if you want to sign up for a private class we're available to take you one-on-one -on -one, all right from the beginners level to advanced level we love you and i want to say see you again more videos will be coming your way bye